Hi, I'm Clifford Clark. Uh, two years ago, I was falsely accused of shooting a red light camera in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, today, almost two years later, I'd like to share with you an order signed by a judge from Knoxville, Tennessee, dismissing all charges against me associated with that red, alleged red light camera shooting. Um, the publicity from this incident spanned coast to coast in the United States, including Alaska, uh, as well as England, Spain, and even South Africa. I'm sure there are some other countries that I'm not even aware of. So it's a, quite a relief for me to have these charges dismissed, and I hope that my exoneration will be as highly publicized as my arrest. How does it feel to win dismissal in this red light case? Well, of course, it's a tremendous relief uh, for me to have this particular aspect uh, over with. Um, I hope that my good name and reputation will be restored, and I suppose that only time will uh, tell if that is the case. How did your lawyer break the news to you? I received a uh, phone call late Friday afternoon that um, the judge had dismissed all charges related to the red light camera incident and of course um, I uh, couldn't hardly believe the news. It took a while for it to sink in. My attorney um, Ron Newcomb did a superlative job and I would certainly recommend his services to anyone. Did you shoot the red light camera? No. <laughs> I've been asked this uh, time and time and again. I did not uh, shoot the red light camera and I'm not quite certain if the red light camera uh, was shot. I never got to see the camera um, uh, after this incident or after these allegations. Um, I got to see some photos of pieces of equipment. So I'm not convinced yet that the incident took place as it was alleged. Did the camera housing disappear? Or? Uh, yes, many parts of the camera disappeared from evidence. The uh, outside cover of the camera uh, disappeared. Uh, that, of course, if the camera had been shot, that would have given uh, ballistics evidence of uh, trajectory, azimuth, and so forth. That's gone. Uh, there are no bullet or bullet fragments amongst the evidence which to me is, um, uh, indicates that there was no shooting. Even if the bullets had disintegrated, then the parts of the bullets would still be within the camera housing. The official police report says that three bullets entered the camera and one bullet passed through. So there still should be fragments from three bullets, but no fragments exist. No bullets or bullet fragments exist. Uh, so I'm reluctant to believe that um, either the camera was shot or very certainly uh, I did not shoot uh, that camera or any other camera. Who do you believe actually shot the camera? <laughs> I think it was the police. If that camera was shot, I can only believe that it was the police that shot that camera. And why do you believe that? Um, every time a camera is damaged, the uh, city of Knoxville pays the ca uh, camera operators uh, reimbursement for that damage, which means that destroying those cameras are profitable for the camera company itself. Uh, another story in Washington, D.C. had the camera operators commissioning people to steal their cameras so they could then bill back the cost to the city as the leasee who are responsible for those cameras. So it's quite a money-making operation. Did you subpoena anybody who had evidence that a police officer had shot the camera? Absolutely. I don't want to use his name on camera, but uh, there was a uh, witness, actually more than one witness, that um, has said publicly that um, deputies were responsible for other red light cameras being shot. Um, of course, now the trial and charges have been dismissed. So at least for the moment, we're not going to hear that testimony. But you did subpoena one of those witnesses? Say it again? You did subpoena one of those witnesses? Absolutely. The, uh, the subpoena 
was issued for a witness who has said that a deputy had shot that camera or shot a red light camera. And can we see your happy dance of victory? No. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that this episode is over, uh, but I'm, um, I'm not one to gloat. I've uh, suffered a lot during the last two years. Some people have been very supportive and I'm grateful for their support and I'm grateful for having a superlative attorney, but there have also been a minority of people who've been um, very cruel to me during the last two years. And um, even though these charges are uh, dismissed, um, I'm still going to grieve over this situation for a while and what I've been put through for the last two years.